what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? Celia Cucker, a viral sensation with over 2 million followers on the streaming platform TikTok, is dead of an apparent suicide. She was only 16 years old, family. Her manager, Arun Sarin, confirmed her death by suicide on June 24th at her family's home in New Delhi, India. She was an honest, fun-loving girl, and I'm shocked with this incident and I will always remember her as a great artist, he said. An artist like her is very rare, so we can only pray that her soul may rest in peace. She will always be in our hearts forever. Police who reportedly seized her phone for further investigation told local India today that she had been battling depression under coronavirus lockdown in the days prior to her death. So here we go again, fam. So many young people committing suicide. The trip part about it, fam, is this. This is for all you people that thinks money is everything. You think fame is everything. It's just going to so solve all your problems. Why is it that so many people with means money, success, perceived success, are taking their own lives. It's more than money, fam. This is why people say money can't buy everything. And one of the things that it can never buy that is often talked of is happiness. Love. Not not just love for somebody else, but self-love. Money can't buy self-love. Oftentimes when we hear money can't buy love, we think of that love coming to us in our direction. We think of buying love for one's own uh, use or benefit. No. The greatest love is love of self. This young girl, 16 years old, had the whole world in front of her. And yet it appears that she felt like there was something going on in her life that she couldn't overcome. Family, let me tell you something. I don't know your personal situation, but I tell you this, I know struggle, I understand pain, I can empathize with that. And I can tell you based on the struggle and pain that I've experienced in my own life, that I've been on the brink of suicide more than once. When I look back at those situations that I was in, that wanted me, that where I wanted to remove myself from the life that I was in. I go to myself, damn, I was really thinking, I was really tripping. You know why? Because every single thing that I've ever been through that I thought I wouldn't survive, I survived. Every single situation you've ever been in your life, or you thought you was not going to get through. You've gotten through. If you're alive, if you can hear my voice. You've gotten through it. That's 100% of the time. If you were playing baseball, you'd be, bet you, you'd be batting a thousand. You'd be batting a thousand if you were playing baseball. That's a perfect score. That means that every time you step to the plate, you get on plate. You've been on plate. You've gotten on plate so far. Every single time you've been up to bat, you're batting 1,000. So keep that in mind if you're going through it right now. And if you're not going through it right now, keep this video real close 
because if you, if you haven't went through it yet or you've already been through it, you will go through it for the first time or again. I can guarantee because that's how life works. That is the way it goes, family. I've never seen so many young people committing suicide as I have in these last few years. And a lot of it has to do with mental health. We don't talk about that enough. You know, we're at a stage, I believe now, where mental health is not frowned upon as it was in my earlier days. We look at something like that and be like, oh, she crazy, he crazy. Now it's common for people to talk about mental health and also get help. In fact, I'll even go as far as saying it's actually popular to get help because all of us know somebody that is getting help, right? So the more open we are about these situations, the more discussions that we have about mental health, I think the more people will be comfortable with telling their story and getting help. It's important. Horrible, man. You never know what somebody is going through. Everybody that talks about that girl talks about how well she danced and how fun and loving she was. And her manager talked about how cool she was, you know, how she was one of the best artists he had. Her photographer talked about how everything seemed normal and she seemed so happy. But isn't that normally how it goes? <sighs> Something I keep thinking about in regards to her death. Social media friends, they don't go too far when you're at the end of your rope or you feel hopeless. They don't amount to much in real life. This is why it's important that we don't put everything that we have into these posts and likes, followers and subscribers and comments. We have to make sure that we maintain that balance. Cold game, man. 16 years old. R.I.P. See you, Cucker. No more talk. What, what, what the haters talking about? Yeah.